In this video, we're going to be talking about reference image guides. Now, I was very excited about this because this is really useful for when I'm painting, and I know it's going to be really useful for when you're painting. This is a really great way to map out what you are painting. It keeps you from needing to trace. Let's go to Window, Reference Images. Let's go ahead and grab an image. I'm a big fan of her art. Let's go ahead and drag this over into Rebel. We can drop it right into our reference images. We're going to click on it to show it. We're going to drag this out and we can click here to get it to fit to screen. All right, let's bring this over here. So let's talk about these reference image guides. So here if we click. This is going to show on the canvas right here. We choose transform on canvas. What this is going to do is allow us to bring this uh, into the right position or scale it up and down. All right, so let's go ahead and click on transform on canvas to disable movement. And then we have edit guides right here. Now you can't click here and edit on the canvas itself. So what you want to do is you want to go inside the reference image. And let's go ahead and add our guides. So I'm going to put guides right in the pupils across the base of the nose. We're going to go from the center top of the forehead to the base of the chin. We're going to go from the corners of the mouth and let's go from the bottoms of the ears. Okay. So here, and then if we want to show our guides, we go to view, show reference image guides. You can see here it's lined up right here with this reference image preview on the canvas. And I think this is great. If I am not wanting to trace, I'm trying to use these guides to lay out my artwork. This is a really great way to do it. This provides an invaluable tool for artists who are trying to learn how to develop their eye, able to see the shapes and positions without tracing. So they're building their tools, their visual tools. You can see that we can get these positions and shapes lined up very nicely without as much guesswork as we would have done in the past. So it allows you to create better, more beautiful art. Because you're using better tools. You don't have things in the right position and adding those details is just going to turn into a lot of work in the future. So this is a giant, giant time saver. All right. If you guys have questions about reference image guides, please put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.